if God is not working in your life, in your ministry, in whatsoever you do, my brother, check your faith. The Bible said, and Jesus told them according to your faith. I want you to understand that there is an according to your faith. Faith can be measured. Listen to me, the size of your faith is not the same size of another man's faith. In Romans chapter 12, the verse 3, the Bible said, For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do nothing of yourself more highly than you ought. Ha, ma lava shata bayakapaya. But rider, think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the measure, the measure of faith God has given you. The size of your greatness in God's kingdom is the level of your faith you are operating in. The dimension of your faith you are operating in. And today I want to bring to you something that's going to change your life, change your ministry, change the way you do things in the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. Magriliva akunda la masaya. Hiyokodobo shanda yagadaya santaya. There are two great dimensions, two dimensions of faith. The first dimension is called the vertical dimension of faith. In the sack, there are also two, two demonstrations of this faith. And one of first of all is called the little faith. Listen to me. The disciples of Jesus talked about this. They really talked about this because they seen Jesus doing great things and they were wondering what is it at all that we are not able to do, replicate what our master Jesus is doing. And Jesus said, you don't need, even if your faith is as little as a master seed, it can still do something great. Listen to me here. This is not to endorse little faith faith but he's only trying to tell them that you can have faith and that faith will be little so listen in Matthew chapter 6 verses 30 Jesus spoke to his disciples and told them you of little faith in Matthew chapter 8 verses 26 he told them you of little faith Matthew chapter 14 verses 31 he spoke to them and said you of little faith what is little faith little faith is simply as a result of inadequate hearing of god's word when god's word in you is not much then just know what you'll be operating in is a little dimension you will just be little in the realm of the spirit you will not be heavy in the spirit realm and your dimension that you'll be hanging around will be little listen to me and the miracle Girls you'll be seeing around will be little and the manifestations you'll be seeing around will be little I came to tell somebody here you are moving from that little faith into a more greater faith in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that the other vertical dimension of faith is called great faith great in this is what the Lord desires you Shanda Bali and Tapakunda Ali Braskin de Levesete this is also as a result of adequate hearing of God's word being able to open up to enough I call it enough of God's revelation a revelation that can best open your brain when you are filled and packed with God's knowledge then you are ready to exercise and walk in great manifestations of the spirit and the power of God listen to me here when you eat in more you grow are you listening here so when we talk about the vertical dimension I am talking about how faith grows you growing in faith you growing in faith you growing in faith and when you grow in faith you grow in the power dimension you grow in the miracle dimension you grow in, 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 in the dealings and how things manifest in your life. Glory be to Jesus. In Matthew chapter 15 verses 28, the Bible said, And Jesus spoke to a certain woman 
who was a Canaanite. Listen, this woman's child suffered. Her daughter Rida suffered. She was in pain. And this woman came to Jesus and pleaded Jesus to heal the daughter. The disciples chased this woman away. They were chasing her away. They said, get out of here. But this woman who knew who Jesus was and understood what Israel was missing said, I can't leave this man. And Jesus even turned to even insult or spoke aggressively, abusively to this woman by saying, I can't the food of the children to dogs. Calling this woman a dog. Some would have just left Jesus. Some would have just given up. But this woman still sought and said, I know, I know I am a dog. I don't dispute that fact. I am indeed a dog. But I want you to know that if the children, there are still some of the children who cannot eat well, and they will, they will definitely leave some of the food on the ground, and we dogs will take it. Jesus hearing this said, he said there is no great faith there is no one in israel that has a great faith like you Kaya. so he commended the woman by saying your faith is great and there was a centurion in luke chapter 7 verses 9 jesus also told this same centurion you of great faith listen to me ladies and gentlemen these are the two dimensions of faith that gonna change your life i want you to know that listen you grow from little to great your faith the vertical dimension has to do with you growing your faith from little to great little to great there is also the second dimension of faith that has to do with the horizontal dimension and this horizontal dimension is as a result of how far your faith can go how far your faith can go it is different from how your faith will grow the vertical has to do with how faith grows and the horizontal has to do with how faith can go how faith can go now check this out in romans chapter 14 verses 19 and even from the verse 1 he says he talks about people with weak faith weak faith weak faith people are people who cannot stand the test of time they have faith they believe in jesus they believe in what god can do but when hardship when trials when temptations come they easily fall men like this are people who started ministry very well and along the line they failed along the line they fall these people are people of weak faith they can't stand the test of time and there are those who have strong faith strong faith and abraham is recommended for that romans chapter 4 verses 19 to 21 the bible talks about abraham glory be to jesus le grando shalakti prinda kapoya atala e kundo do buskunda akrida aklendo saato e kuba banda be kundi liba akuya zata the bible said listen listen carefully man de cross ata starting from the verse 18 writer he said against all hope abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations just as it had been said to him so shall your offspring be without weakening in his faith without weakening without being weak in his faith he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead since he was about a hundred years old and that Sarah's womb was also dead yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God but was strengthened other versions will say was strong in faith and gave glory to God being fully persuaded that God had power to do what he had promise this is why it was credited to him 
as righteousness. Listen to me, brother. I came to prophesy to you that your faith is growing. Your faith is strengthening. Your faith is increasing. Are you listening here? Abraham didn't look at his body. He didn't look at the times. He didn't look at what he was going through. He simply believed that God will perform what he has said. I came to challenge somebody today. Your miracle is coming. It doesn't matter how long it has been. Just be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Just be strong in faith. Believe in that very prophetic word God spoke to you. And I see it manifest in the name of the Lord Jesus. I prophesy let it be done. In Jesus name. Your miracle is coming. Your miracle is coming. No matter the test i see you pass it all i see you withstanding all i see you going through all the other day david said yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death listen to me your faith the horizontal dimension of faith helps you to go through situation hardships storms of life and still stand strong giving glory to god i prophesy this will be your portion in the mighty name of the lord jesus even as your faith is growing your faith is strengthening there are men who have great faith yet cannot go far i prophesy that means none of this shall be your portion but you will be strong in faith and in the power of his might you will do wonders for the lord glory be to jesus on this note i want you to walk in a great dimension of faith putting the two together i want you to walk in a strong and great dimension of faith in jesus name amen